Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matthew Moon students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Now, today we're going to continue our lesson here in Chapter 7 about the linear equation with one variable. Okay, so we still have here uh, three examples in order for you to understand about how to evaluate or find a value of the variable here in the linear equation with one variable. So we have here our first example. It says that given the equation 7x plus 8 is equal to 9x minus 2, find the value of x. Okay. So as you can see here that um, the, each of the expression in the left and the right hand side is not a rational expression, right? So it's simply that we're going to combine like terms. We just put all the x's on one side and put all the numbers in one side. Now, so for this time, okay, so you have here the left hand side and the right hand side. So take a look at uh, the expression on the left hand side. We have 7x plus 8. And on the right hand side, we have the 9x minus 2. Now we're going to put 9x where? Or 7x where? So since that 9x is greater than 7x, so we're going to transpose 7x to the right side so that you will have a positive x. Okay? And we're going to uh, transpose this negative 2 to the left side to become positive 2 or plus 2. Now, so here we go. This one. So we transpose like uh, 7x to the right side, it becomes now negative 7x, right? So from positive 7x, it becomes now negative 7x. And from negative 2, it becomes positive 2. Okay, so we combine like terms. So we have there 8 plus 2 is 10. And uh, so, uh, 9x minus 7x is 2x. Okay, now from there, we're going to divide this by 2. And this by 2, we have there 1 half or 1 half, the other side. So we have here, we can cut 2 and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So you have there x equals to 5. Therefore, we can say that the value of the variable here, x, is equal to 5. Na? Okay, my Simple, right? Okay, so we have here the checking again. So for the checking, we're just substitute the value of x into our equation. So we have there our equation, and we substitute the value of x, which is 5. We have there... 7 times 5 plus 8 is equal to 9 times 5 minus 2. So 7 times 5 is 35 plus 8 is equal to 45 minus 2. Then we combine like terms. 35 plus 8 is uh, 43 and 45 minus 2 is 43. So we come up with equal value for the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation. So therefore, we can say that our value of x is really equal to 5. Huh? Okay, my Okay. Now, we continue with the next example. Here we have, so given the equation 2 times 2x plus 1 is equal to 3 times x plus 4. Find the value of x. Huh? So, since as you can see here that, we um, see, we need to distribute the outside term to the inside terms. Huh? Okay. So, here we go again. So, we just uh, distribute first 2 times 2x and 2 times 1. 3 times x and 3 times 4. Nah? So 2 times 2x becomes 4x. 2 times 1 is 2. We have 3x. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 4 is 12. Nah? Now, so we have here now all uh, the ex uh, expression. We don't have rational expression. Nah? Now we can move, uh, put all the x's in one side and put all the numbers in one side. Now since that 4x is greater than 3x, so we're going to transpose 3x to the left side. Okay, together with 4x, so that uh, your your x will be positive. No need to introduce a negative x. Nah? So we have there, 4x minus 3x, and we transpose positive 2 to the right side, it becomes a negative 2, right? So for 3x from the left, uh, from the right side, we move or transpose to the left side, becomes negative 3x. Nah? And we combine like terms, 4x minus 3x is x. And that 12 minus 2 is 10. Okay, my. Now, therefore, we say that our value of x is equal to 10. Nah? Okay. Now, we're going to check whether our answer is correct. So, we have the checking here. And we have the, the equation. And we're going to substitute the value of x. So, we have there 4 times 2x is 4x. And this is x. 
okay, which is 10, and 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times x, or 3 times 10 here, which uh, substitute the x with 10, and 3 times 4 is 12. Nah? And we simplify this, 3 uh, 4 times 10 plus 2, we get there 40 plus 2, and 3 times 10 plus 12, or 30 plus 12. Then we combine this as 42, and on the right side, we have also 42. Okay? So you will see that our left-hand side and right-hand side are equal. So therefore, we can say that our value of x here for the variable x is equal to 10. Na? Okay, my 1 plus 1, 1 plus 5. Okay, so we have here our third example. It says that given the equation 2x plus 1 over 5 is equal to x over 3, find the value of x. Okay, so as you can see here that we have rational expression on both sides, right? Okay, so we're going to eliminate first this denominator. So that would be easier for us to uh, simplify and find the value, value of the variable x. Nah? Okay. So again, there are two things or two methods that we can use here nah? to find the variable x. It's either that you're going to introduce the LCM on both sides or you're going to cross multiply the denominator. Nah? So for this uh, example, what I did is to cross multiply, I multiply 5 with x. And I multiply 3 with 2x plus 1. Nah? Okay, my. Or if you are going to uh, introduce uh, the LCM, which is 15, you can also do that. So if you're going to introduce 15, so you're going to multiply here 15 on the left-hand side and multiply 15 here on the right-hand side. And you can simplify, cut 15 by 5 with 3. 15 by 3 is 5. So it's still the same, right? But you, uh, you, you did two steps. However, if you're going to cross-multiply just only... To multiply, just only one step, right? It's easier, okay? So we multiply that, 5 times x will, uh, will be 5x, and 3 times 2x plus 1, you have 3 times 2x plus 1. We have this, okay? And again, we distribute this, 3 times 2x, 3 times 1, we have there, so it becomes 6x plus 3, then equal to 5x, nah? Okay, so for this time, we're going to combine like terms. So we just put all the x's on one side and put the numbers on one side. Nah? So since that 6x here is greater than 5x, we're going to transpose 5x to the left side. So that we're going to have a positive value of x at the end. No need to introduce a negative. Nah? So we have here, we transpose a 5x, positive 5x to the left side becomes a negative 5x. And a positive 3 here, we're going to transpose that to the right side. It becomes a negative 3. We have here. Okay, so we simplify this combined, 6x minus 5x is x, and therefore we say that our variable x is equal to negative 3. Okay, my. So again, we're going to have the checking, we have here the checking, whether our answer is really is equal to negative 3. No? Okay, so we have here the equation. Okay, there we go, and we substitute there the value of x, which is a negative 3. Okay? So no need to transpose anything, just only simplify each of the expression on the left side and the right, right hand side. So we have here negative uh, 2 times negative 3 is uh, negative 6 plus 1. Okay, we have there over 5, then negative 3 over 3. Nah? Then for this one, for the right hand side, negative 3 over 3 is negative 1. And here on the left hand side, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Over 5 will give you a negative 1, right? or a 1. So you will see that they're all equal. Nah? The left hand side and the right hand side is equal to 1. Okay, my. So therefore, we can say that our variable x is really a negative 3. Nah? Okay. Do you have any question? 1 slash 5. Okay, so if you don't have any question, that's all for today and we're going to continue more example about this lesson on chapter 7 about linear equation with one of our variable. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.